So anemones are one of the most sought after wedding flowers right now and I find that they're pretty polarizing. People either love them or they don't love the sharp contrast. One thing about them is they have very soft tissuey petals and they're kind of in the poppy species. And so don't let that scare you. We zoomed in so you could see uh, a close up of how some of, on some of the petals you have some like discoloration and don't let that scare you when you get your anemones. That's pretty normal for them. But the thing about them is when they're photographed, the, um, with the editing and the lighting, it blows out and you slight discoloration. So that's completely normal. Another thing about them is they have this like kind of weed-like collar. You can leave them on or you can use scissors to cut it off. I typically leave them on. Um, another thing is anemones grow pretty curved, kind of like the scabiosa and the ranunculus, so that's not anything to um, worry about. When you get them, they're more than likely going to be closed. So these guys are a little bit fussier. You have to babysit them. So set them in a sunny spot and wait until they open and then move them away because they don't have the longest base life. So today is Thursday and I received these on Wednesday. So they all blew out really nicely. So kept them in the sun and then moved them away. Um, and another thing that we talk about on our website is because anemones are so delicate and kind of fussy, I typically only get like six to seven useful ones in a bunch. And the other ones, this is actually kind of like a unicorn siding. This one's kind of weird. So like maybe this one I wouldn't use in a bouquet and I might tuck it down into a centerpiece or throw it in a bud base, but don't be alarmed if you get one kind of like this one that isn't awesome. So I wanted to like pull those out so that you know not everyone's going to be perfect. So 